Today, I'm gonna to be taking you behind the scenes a little bit and showing you my exact process for creating a lot of pins in a short amount of time. This is gonna be very valuable to you if you have a blog or a business or anything where you are getting started just with Pinterest or you already have a Pinterest flow and you're wanting to be a little bit more efficient. Now, in order to get things started, what I like to do from the beginning when I'm working with a new business or on my current account is I like to create a spreadsheet of all the content that we want to create pins for. You can see here, I have this just little, very simple spreadsheet that with all the different blog posts that I wanna create content for. You can do this exact same thing for your product pages if you are an e-commerce store or wanting to run leads or anything like that. Just go through and create a list of everything, that all the links that you want to send traffic to. So you can see here we have 25 blog posts and I just created a very simple column here, posts created and posts scheduled. And what I wanna do, what my goal is with all 25 of these blog posts is I want to go through and create four to five posts for each one of those blog posts and schedule them out so that for the next month or maybe even two months, all 25 of these blog posts have pins going to them, pins being published for them. So I'm gonna walk you through that exact process. And in order to make this process much, much easier and much more streamlined and a lot more automated, we're gonna be using a software called Tailwind. Now, if you aren't familiar with Tailwind, it's kind of the go-to when it comes to scheduling pins inside of Pinterest. And not only that, it makes creating pins incredibly easy to go through and build. So I'm gonna show you my exact process. The great thing about Tailwind as well is that they're coming out with new features uh, like AI features and things like that. And also you can use this for other social media platforms. I just personally really like to use it for Pinterest. So that's the tool that we're gonna be using I'm going to be walking you through this exact process on how to take 25 blog posts and create basically hundreds of different pins for these using Tailwind and have your entire month or two months scheduled out for that process. We're going to do that right here. So stay tuned, watch till the end. Hopefully you find this video helpful and let's jump right in. What we're going to do is we're going to go through over here and grab one of these blog posts. We're going to grab this geometric wall art blog post and we want to go through and create a post. Now what's cool about this is you can either drop photos in to Tailwind to use and automate your post or what you can do is you can give it a blog post and it will go through and find all the images on that blog post. You can see it just found all these images inside of here and you can start creating images with the ones from the blog post. So this makes it really nice. I can just plug in a URL and it will go through and find all those photos. Now for this one, there are a couple more photos that I do want to add, but once it's gone through and found those photos, you can see it's not creating anything yet. You can just click on the ones that you want to add. It's going to put them up here and you can see it's going to automatically start placing them inside of all of these pins and you can see it just made a lot of them. And so as you can tell, this is a very quick way to create a lot of Pinterest content in a very automated fashion. So we're gonna go through and add all those. And then if you wanted to, like I said, add more photos of your own, you can do that. You can click on over here and you can see I have a few more photos that in this for this specific project that we're gonna go through and add. And now you can see we have all these different images here. If there's an image in here that we don't want, you can hit the X and then it will exit out of that. Also, I do want to call out that they have created this new thing called Ghostwriter, where you can go through and create an image if you click on this photo painting digital art. I haven't used the image generator very much, to be honest with you, but later on in this video, I'll show you, I use it a lot for creating pin titles and pin descriptions, but just something I wanted you to be aware of there. And you can go through and do stock options, stock photos as well, if you wanted to search for something for specific on stock, but I like to use a lot of my own photos when I can. And in this situation, I have photos that are my own basically. Now from here, you'll notice on the right hand side, there's kind of this color palette that's like kind of green and red, which I don't really love. And so there's a fast way to fix that. If you come over here to color palettes, you can go through and change the color palette to whatever basically you want. There's lots of different designs inside of here. I like these kind of neutral colors, kind of this black, brown and gray going on here. I think I like this one the most. I just like to kind of go through and give a glance at it. And if you wanted to, you can change the color palette individually on each pin as well. So say that you liked this post, but you wanted the color palette to be different. You can click on here and then it will actually let you select a color palette specifically for that individual pin, which is nice. So if, don't worry about being married to one pin color palette, if that's the case. Once you've gone through and gotten the color palette that you're happy with, we're gonna go with this one right here. Then you can also go through and change branding. So if you wanted to, you can go through and put a website or a brand name on all the pins. To be honest, most of the time, this isn't something that I do. You can go through and add a logo as well, but we're not going to for these pins. And then also you can go through and change the text if you wanted to. So you can see this one's pretty simple, how to make geometric wall art. And then it does so a house to home DIY on the end here. I'm just gonna change this to how to make geometric wood wall art. Now all the titles on these are gonna be the same. You can change this later if you wanted to, but what I find is the images are the more impactful thing. So we're gonna leave that as it is. 
And just like that, you can see that Tailwind has gone through and literally created, I don't even know how many pins. Like this is hundreds of, of pins that it's now made for you. Now, of course, I don't recommend just going through and selecting all of these pins because to be honest, I think some of these designs are okay. Some of them are really good and some of them are just good. So what I like to do from this point now is just give this a glance over and find the pins that I really like, the ones that I think stand out and look the best. So just off, right off the bat, looking over here, this one is the like, this one kind of gravitates and catches my eye because you have something unfinished in the background and then something finished and then kind of this nice little layout here. So if I wanted to use this pin, what I can do is go through and hit select here. And then it's going to say, hey, select the design. You can put this on Pinterest. And you can also, if you wanted to, you could put this on Facebook or Instagram as well. For this tutorial, we're only gonna be doing Pinterest and then we can hit continue selecting. So now that one has been in the, my selected designs up here in the right, but I wanna go through and find at least four or five more before we go through and schedule them out. And if you're curious about scheduling and connecting this to your Pinterest account, just a heads up, Tailwind is an approved vendor for Pinterest. So you don't have to have any worries about connecting it to your Pinterest account and actually having it schedule pins for you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and get all these, we're gonna schedule them and I'll show you how to quickly write headlines and titles for all all these as well. So we're gonna go through and scroll through some of these. Okay, and let's say that you find a design that you like, but you don't like the images that it's automatically selected. There's an easy fix for that. So for this one, for instance, what you can do is you can click shuffle photos and you can see it will go through and shuffle the photos for you until you can find like a combination that you really like. There's a combination that I like for that one. And if you wanted to change the layout as well, you can click this and it will shuffle the layout as well to like different ways going through that way. So um, you can go through and customize these and we already talked about the color palette in there. So just something else to think about. So now I'm gonna go through and find four or five more. Okay, and so now we have our five pins selected. So now we can view these selected designs. Here they are, we're gonna hit review designs. And then you can see if you wanted, you can go through and make final edits on these, but it's going to show us the design summary. It's going to tell us how much time we saved, which is kind of fun. I'm not sure how accurate that is, but it is still kind of nice. You can go through and deselect types here as well. And then we're going to go through and go to schedule. We're going to make sure it's connected to our Pinterest account, hit confirm. And then here is where we can go through and add our pin title, pin description, the final URL where we're going to be spending people to it automatically added it because we put in the URL and then the pin destination, and then here's where you can also create a Facebook post if you wanted to, and then go through and schedule this. So I'll go through and show you how to do this on one post, and then I'm not gonna bore you by doing it with all these other ones. But Tailwind's made this really nice with their new Ghost Writer feature. So what I'll do is I'll go through and I'll click on this Ghost Writer right here. Now this does require a paid plan, so just a heads up, the Ghost Writer feature. You can go through and schedule a certain amount of posts every month based on which Tailwind plan you are on. I'm on the kind of higher plan, and so I get a lot of monthly posts and Ghost Writer credits. So I do wanna throw that out there. You don't need to use Ghost Writer if you don't want to, but I find it saves me a ton of time because you can see here what I'm doing is I am posting about and then I can go through a feature product, promotion, sale, lifestyle content, behind the scenes kind of thing. I'm going to do informational content and then the information about this content here, just put in like the keyword basically. And then you can go through and add a keyword or phrase and then we're just going to call, we're going to say wood wall art. And then optionally, you can add a call to action. Most of the time I don't, um, to be honest, but you can go through and do that and then hit generate pins. And you can see here that it's going to go through and give you a pin title. Now these are just ideas. I wouldn't use this every single time. You're definitely still gonna to wanna to go through and read over these to make sure that it's telling you, to giving you stuff that you actually want. But what's nice from here is you can actually, it gives you three different variants. So discover the art of DIY creating a stunning geometric wall art at home. I actually really do like that. I think it's a great headline, but you can go through and change this up if you want to. I would warn you against putting so many emojis. I have noticed that it sometimes puts a lot of emojis in the pin title. I would probably stay away from that as much as possible. To it looks kind of spammy but it's still great for like different ideas so you can see it just gives me like three or four pin titles i'm going to go with this one right here i'll go through and delete these quotation marks that looks good to me so now i can go through and save that detail and then the last thing to do is go through and actually schedule the pin here so we're going to go through and schedule this for thursday at 1 21 p.m or you can go through and do a custom time but this is really nice to have this option right here and it's like a smart scheduler so we're gonna go through and put that on and then now we can schedule post. Oh, we got to change the, we got to add it to a Pinterest board. <laughs> Forgot about that. We're going to put this under the four hour home improvement project ideas. And then now you can go through and schedule the post. And just like that, you can see your Pinterest pin is successfully scheduled. And now I'm going to go through and do that for all five of these. And pretty quickly, we're going to have a lot of content ready to go. And I'll show you kind of what this calendar looks like after I've gone through and done this. I'm going to go through and repeat this process literally for all of these blogs. I'll let you know kind of how long that takes and I'll show you what the end result is inside a calendar. So I'll be back in just a little bit.
Okay, and we are back and you can see we've now gone through and created pins, four to five pins for all of these blogs. So we have over a hundred pins now scheduled inside of Tailwind. Now this took me about an hour to go through and do. To be honest, I could have done it faster if I wanted to, but when I am creating the pins, I really do want to make sure that they look good and they represent my account. And so there are faster ways to go through and create pins, yes, but this did take like a little bit of time, but at the same time, an hour for over a hundred pins that are now scheduled out for the entire month, actually even longer than a month, I think is well worth it. So now let's go into Tailwind and show you exactly what this looks like. And you can see this is what your calendar ends up looking like inside of Tailwind when you're all done. You can see you have the number of pins that you have on each date. You can click inside of there, see when those pins are, what time they are scheduled for. If you wanted to go through and move a pin to a different date, you can simply go through and drag it to one of those inside of there. And you can see that I basically have one or two posts going and being posted every single day now. Uh, I don't have to worry about creating content for the next month and a half and actually even further than that. Uh, and you can obviously go through and spread your posts out as more if you'd like. I like to have it between one or two pins a day, but you can go one every other day and make this really last. If I wanted to make all this content last for the next quarter, I could go through and do that. I can go through and change the time on when some of these are showing. So there you have it, my exact strategy on how I go through and create a lot of content in a little bit of time. Now I don't need to worry about posting on Pinterest for the next month and a half, although I still go through and post manually a lot of times and create pins inside of Canva or different things like that. I like to mix things up a little bit, but this gives me covered, kind of gives me a baseline for to know that I'm going to be posting daily. I like to go through and do this once a month or sometimes even once every other month to go through and create just a bulk amount of pins. I'm curious, let me know down in the comments how you like to go through and create pins inside of Pinterest, what other ways you are finding to be more efficient inside of Pinterest. If you haven't already, be sure to check out the link down below to get your free trial. I think it's actually a free forever trial of Tailwind. So you can go through and try this strategy for yourself and let me know how it works. And we'll see you in the next video.